how else do you find it? Well, you can test and see for inflammation around the barriers. So this is actually a food allergy, an IgG food allergy test, and also a stool test of an individual. And here's what was going on. Only in her mid thirties, um, she had chronic viral infections. Um, she had Lyme disease. She had terrible joint pain and terrible fatigue. So when we look at this, she had 31 different IgG immune system reactions that were taking place around the gastrointestinal barrier. Why did she have so many? Because her gastrointestinal barrier had no integrity to it. And those proteins not getting broken down because she was so stressed all of the time. And in fact, even an infection can lower stomach acid and then they were leaking through. So that how on earth is she supposed to get out of this, help her immune system to be able to recover if she kept inflaming herself? And then when you look at her gastrointestinal barrier, you can see right here, secretory IgA. It means the gastrointestinal barrier is inflamed, not to mention a lot of other things with her microbiome and having infection and things like that.